That's the most incredible manicure ever! But there's more! <laughs> They're musical! Oh. Wow. <laughs> I call them Glamicures! They're the greatest! The very best! Most creative salon beautification! since raspberry lip gloss. I'm so glad you like them. This is the greatest thing ever. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen. And here you go, Lemon. And thank you for the wonderful Glamicure. <sighs> this is the greatest beautification success I've ever had. Mr. Longface. Just having a little swim. The weather's so nice. 
<laughs> oh well. Uh, it it was nice weather. So, uh, how do you like your glamour cure? Oh, it's just um uh wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. And waterproof. <gasps> waterproof? Oh, is that so? Yeah, won't wash off, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> how lucky for us. <laughs> nice here and there, but all day and all night? I can't think straight. Try dancing to two tunes at the same time. The one you're supposed to dance to and the one coming from your glamicure. I think people aren't coming to the store as much because they're getting tired of the glamicure music. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Oh, maybe Raspberry and Blueberry can think of something. Oh, good idea. In the meantime, let's get out of here. So, what do we do now? I don't know. What can we do? You say you want a pan of stew? No, I said what can we do? Well, the first thing we can do is get rid of these earmuffs. They're almost as bad as the glamicures. So, what do we do? Okay. Everybody hold your hands very still. <sighs> Look, we have to tell Lemon that these things just aren't working out. But how could we do that? She's so proud of them. I know. I've never seen her so thrilled about something. It would hurt her feelings to learn the truth. I'm not gonna be the one to tell her. If she found out that we don't like her glamicures, well, she, she, oh, she might stop giving manicures altogether. Why, she might even stop giving hair stylings. And she might not speak to us ever again. She might close the salon and move away. And it'd be our fault for being so cruel. You're right. Strawberry would never do something like that. She's too considerate. Yeah, yeah that's true. Right. She's really Dear. nice about things like do? this. I take back what I said about telling Lemon. I would go to the ends of the earth rather than hurt her feelings. I would go beyond the ends of the earth. Well, I would... Uh, I would... I would put up with my glamicure forever. Us too. And it's decided. We'll never tell Lemon her glamicures are driving us crazy. Right! It's a really simple step, Orange. Just do exactly what I do. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, three. One, two, three. Four, one, three. Two, seven, eight. Nine! Oh! <sighs> if that isn't the signal for nap time, nothing is. Huh? What? for a picnic, but they haven't shown. That's odd. I wonder what happened. It seems as if Blueberry and Plum have been avoiding me, too. I wonder if they're mad at me. Mad at you? Maybe I did something wrong, or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't see how anyone couldn't like you. 
I know. How about if I do my pruning later and I'll picnic with you? Oh, Strawberry, thank you. And then, when we're done, you could go by the other girls' places and ask them if everything's okay. Ask them? Oh, oh my, no. I couldn't do that. I know it's scary sometimes to ask difficult questions, but wouldn't you rather know the truth than imagine bad things? Oh, but what if the truth is something just terrible? Could it be more terrible than what you're already afraid of? Maybe they don't like me anymore? Well, uh, I guess you have a point. What if you ask them for me? Uh, I think it's better coming from you. More direct, you know? But I'll be happy to go with you if you'd like. I'll think about it after our picnic. Sounds good. Hey, look! Strawberry had the same idea. <laughs> Gardening gloves. That's good. But isn't she afraid Lemon will catch on? Oh, oh, oh looks like she's taking them off. Oh, poor Strawberry. Such a kind soul to picnic with Lemon and endure that <gasps> music. Oh, I feel so bad avoiding Lemon's invitation for a picnic. Uh, me too. But I just couldn't bear to listen to my glamicure. Be strong. We made a vow to live with our glamicures and not tell Lemon. No matter how tired we are, no matter how many picnics we have to miss. Deal? Deal. You're right, Strawberry. I have to talk to my friends. And now's as good a time as any. But you'll come along, right? Sure. Whoops! Oops! Oh, oh no! Uh, got it! Oh, uh, thanks, Lemon! Oh, hi, Strawberry! Hello! I, uh... Just drop by to see if everything's, you know, okay. Okay? Well, sure. What wouldn't be okay? Everything's just great. Oh, sorry about the picnic. Just got so busy in the store. Oh, I see. That's fine. Strawberry joined me. Uh, so is your glamicure working okay? Okay? Well, sure. Light's nice and bright? So bright, you almost need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, good. Plenty of music? Ooh, morning, noon, and night. <laughs> well, thanks. I just wanted to see if everything was okay. As okay as an O and a K can be. Cookbook. Hi, Blueberry. Hi. Oh, uh, hi. Um, is this a bad time? Is everything okay, Blueberry? Okay? I uh, couldn't be better. Why, I was just sorting books to the tune of my glamour here. <laughs> Oh, good. I was just... Well, I haven't seen you in a couple of days. I just wanted to make sure I didn't do anything to... Well, you know, bother you? Bother me? Why, no, no! Okay, that's good. Well, I'll see you around then. Nice to see you, Lemon! Strawberry! <sighs> that was close. Bosley! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. <sighs> Hi, Raspberry. What are you sewing? Oh. Everything okay, Raspberry? What are you making? Oh, just stuff. 
you know, stuff. Just, uh, trying my new over, under, through, and back stitch. <laughs> hey, did I mention how much I love my glamicure? Thanks, Plum. See you later. You were right. Everything is fine. I think. You think? Well, everyone said so, but I had a teeny tiny feeling that maybe something wasn't right. Huh. Oh well, it must have just been me. I guess. I'm just glad that you spoke to everyone. That took courage, Lemon. Thanks. Yeah, I do feel better. I guess. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Poor things. I'm sure you're wondering why I asked you here. I need your help with something. <gasps> Look! Strawberry? Where'd they go? What happened to your glamicure? Oh, it wasn't working out for me. It was a little too bright and distracting. <gasps> I know! I can't dance with it. I can't stack my shelves. I can't sleep. And it clashes with everything I wear. How did you get rid of it? We tried everything. Soap and water, ketchup and peanut butter. How'd you do it? I just told Lemon how I felt, and she removed it. You told her? But, 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 is she all right? Oh, did it break her heart? Oh, Strawberry, how could you? I just figured that part of being a good friend is having the courage to give constructive criticism. You know, telling them the truth about something so they can do better the next time. And the other part is taking that criticism in a friendly way, <laughs> which Lemon did. She's fine. Oh, it was driving me crazy. I couldn't think straight. I wanted to hide my head under a pillow. I tried that. It didn't work. But we've been putting up with it because, well, so we wouldn't have to tell Lemon. We kind of avoided it. Completely. We even kind of avoided Lemon. I know. She told me. She was worried you might be upset with her. Oh, no. That's just awful. Poor Lemon. And she even dropped by today to make sure everything was okay between us. And I didn't tell her the truth. Well, there's only one thing to do. You'll just have to tell her. Could we? We... we won't make her feel... bad? You can't make her feel worse than you did by hiding from her. I guess. Yes, we should. We definitely better. I agree. We really ought to... Tell, tell Lemon the truth! <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? You go. Now you go. After you. No, you. Wow, do you all need appointments right now? Come on. It's what friends do. It's the... Uh... The Glamicures. We kind of think they sort of aren't right for us. Not right? Stop it! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but why? <laughs> I never, I never realized how bothersome these glamicures could be. Ooh, we didn't hurt your feelings? Well, I'm disappointed they didn't work out, but I really wish you'd told me sooner. I mean, you're my friends. I'd rather you were honest with me. I'm sorry we weren't. I've got a great idea. New and improved Super Glamicures! Uh, super uh, Glamicures? Really? I don't um, know. Don't worry. I'll listen to any suggestions you have. Ooh, ooh. Controllable colors. And a way to change the tune. Oh, a way to change the beat. A way to turn them off. Yeah! All great ideas. Yeah! Especially the off switch.
Do it. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin is melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. oh. Where's Berry Kin Bloom? There he is! <laughs> Time for the Berry Fest Spring Festival! <laughs> According to my History and Mystery of Berry Bitty City, First edition. There has to be a Berryfest princess. And Princess Berrykin has been Berryfest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berryfest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must... Plant the events! Judge all the flowers! Smell all the flowers! Know all about spring! Not to mention the Wanderberry! And of course, she <laughs> must ride! In the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh, a splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. yeah. The first challenge! The very first princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Oh, good answer. And a uh, lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. 
No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Huh. Now, which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. <laughs> Thank you. Strawberry, get off your vine! I know, I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours too. Thank you. Uh-oh. Ah! We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm going to ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your campaign, campaign manager. manager. Uh, well... Hey! I why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for orange. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. Um, Katie Buck, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> the one who's running for Berry Fest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. 
You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, very fast princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. Hey, Blueberry! What, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? I asked you first. No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to, to write, write a speech for my candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nah, uh, uh huh. Nah, uh, uh huh. Nah, uh, uh huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh no, worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. Oh, that's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest Princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So... I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. 
You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> Look. Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So we made a plan of how to work together. I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Beauty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh, 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 oh. Then I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Seven to five plus three. Carry the two and... Uh, yes? We have a tie! A tie? Oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a Berry Fest princess. I'm going to be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! Me? Yeah! But, but. You voted for me? 
I know it would be fun to win, but, well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest princess. Yeah! Yeah! Who's riding in the front of the parade? That's right, me. Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such, uh, <laughs> good campaign managers that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did. But I must admit, I'm not sure what a Berry Fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, don't forget the honey days. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carriage? Yeah, it'll be great. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. And twirl the Berry Fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the Berry Fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blitz. Uh, Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, the buffet! Before, after... What is that? Very confusing. I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berrykin's bitty book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest, especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to. Oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh no, look at the time. Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals from my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Oh, 
She just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berrykins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help them, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait! The wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. 
Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh. It's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last, but it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh, and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm, yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful. Not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my back! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So there. Yeah. Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Get up! 
dropping gooseberries. Be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. <laughs> Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <gasps> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait, that voice is real! <gasps> Look, a bear! <gasps> hey! Over here! Well, we've just got to save her. Come on, everyone! you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> Let's be 
clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader. <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Popcake. Keep your eyes open. Only one Wonderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wonderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. Oh, but you found it. Oh, my, 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 
yes, 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 a fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color's so rich, the shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes, perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh, oh, oh no! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see yeah. if you did. Yeah. <laughs> Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Pull harder! You can do it! Come on, oh. Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! Uh. This moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh, Miss Shortcake? What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Ho! Hee! get the berry back now. Yeah, what'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. Oh, that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it, together. Come on, everybody, grab hold. Let's with your legs. Okay, guys, count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Can I take a little break? I think we all need a rest. <sighs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, 
It's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Cake custard! Do you hear that? Mm. It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see! Why won't you tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The Berry Kids tell me that... Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? Okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The Berry King Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fine. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. What's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. 
Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... Oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very fast princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is. Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie, you fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. 
I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fest feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fest princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. Galumphalot galumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orange! I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Wuggy! <laughs> <laughs> you decided to have a special <gasps> style under the stars hair extravaganza. <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. <sighs> oh, I've had a busy week.
Lemon. I think someone switched off the lights. Well, it's on. Well, the dryers are off too. I would conclude we have a power failure on our hands. It's dark everywhere. In here and, uh, ooh, out there too. Oh, something must have happened at the Berry Works. I better go over and see if I can help out. Hmm, must be a malfunction in the juice pipe junction over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do great. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longface. The problem is not over there. It's at the juice pipe junction. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, I help me. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, so what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out... Uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then, you were the one that tight roped across... Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Oh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, galumphalots. <gasps> wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But, but, uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because, because, uh, well, uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because... Well, oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside. Emma. Come on, this is silly. Ah! One, two. <laughs> Do you think that that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galump a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! 
Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Cool, I'm a lot. There's no such thing. I say! <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry, and it's answering back! Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. to do but disassemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> What will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. <laughs> but I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us! <laughs>
First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some once and slid all the way over to strawberries. <laughs> Uh, careful where you step! Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the Galumphalot once it's here. Aha! Uh -huh. What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're not true. real. It's just a story. Oh, this one most definitely was. We must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumphalot we're dealing with! <gasps> Much better! Uh, follow me! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Follow me! F f follow! Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie!
still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? <laughs> oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot, and we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh, ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were Glumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and... and, well, soon I was booby-trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Star 2, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and... and, well, how could you see if the Glumphalots were out there anyway? Because... It is dark. Look around you, Orange. Now close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the Galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back at the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even Golumphalots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> It the second it came in, and I can't put it down. 
it, it's just a, a bit past my b bedtime. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Bosley. But just listen to this chapter. The dark and not-so-stormy night was followed by a bright and not-at-all stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness me. Uh, how could it? Uh, it couldn't. But it is. <gasps> how peculiar. What a mystery. Orange Blossom, it's time to get going. It's a very beautiful day for a swim. We don't want to miss a minute. What are we fighting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh, Blueberry? Aha! Yikes! Hi, Strawberry, Raspberry. Come in, come in! They'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty Persimmon Mysteries now. It's all I read. <clears throat> Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but you love all sorts of books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well, you did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today. I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, come quick, come see. Berry can bloom. What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's got a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? 
that's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin, but which one I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can can you do anything? Hmm. Well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well, guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch? Check. Binoculars? Yeah. Check. Guidebooks? Uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. I wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself. Why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence! We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you going to join us for the hike? You might want to change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins, your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> oh! You mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platus Spotus, and it's spreading! <laughs> Indeed it is. My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work. Does that mean... All the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close, so it couldn't spread? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Just might work. Can Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there! I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. 
this mystery is solved. Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, Genius Detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> Blueberry? Uh -huh. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And your criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. We didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what I was thinking, There's another mystery, Blueberry. One that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery. But I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled ten cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there. What's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a... a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person. They haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more! Your missing person is as good as found! Thank you. 
You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Oh, Wait a no. It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove. <laughs> Just look, look, look! And a spot us a spread to everything! That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse. And watch this, it gets worse! What happened? Your glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick! Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested! But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested... Oh, there will be no power to run the town! There has to be something we can do! Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, says it right there, page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. I hope this works. Give it a second. to be back. I guess I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> <laughs>